Hi, my name is Diane Davey and I'm the Executive Director of Work and Culture, a nonprofit organization that specializes in business skills training for the cultural community. We're very pleased to be partnering with the Mobile Experience Innovation Center to bring you this series of three webinars that are designed to help you prepare for writing a grant. Each webinar will cover uh, practical tips and collectively they should improve your odds of being successful. The series is specifically targeted to Canadian content creators who are planning to adapt or create content for the mobile space, but most of the tips apply to anyone who's writing for a, a grant. In part one, I'm going to focus on tips for business planning. Well, most grant applications, even if they're project oriented, ask questions that are far easier to answer if you've got a solid plan. And funders are looking for comfort around your ability to execute and deliver, which means they want to know that you understand your market and your business, all part of a good business plan. What is a business plan? Simply put, it's a description in words and numbers of your, of your business with a focus on the future. Sounds really simple, doesn't it? But planning is the most time-consuming part of a grant application, so I'm recommending you start well in advance. You find out the deadline and treat it just the way you would any other project. Uh, develop a project schedule, working back from the deadline. Figure out areas of responsibility and make sure your team is on board. If the team is very small or if it's even just you, uh, consider getting some outside volunteers who you can use as a sounding board. Uh, use them throughout the process and particularly use them at the end to review the final draft application. Okay, so you need a business plan. What does it look like? A disclaimer here, uh, this webinar isn't intended to get deeply into planning, but to give you a fast overview and emphasize the importance of a plan in preparing a grant application. If you want to delve more deeply, there is another in uh, this series of webinars that will take you more deeply into business planning, and there are many sources, just Google. Stripped down to the basics, a typical business plan includes a mission statement, which answers the question, why does my business exist and for whom? It has goals, where are you trying to get to? Strategies, how are you going to get there? More specific action steps that break uh, the strategies down to measurable steps that will get you to your goals. Outcomes and measurements, how are you going to know when you've got there? How you know you've, you have succeeded? And last but certainly not least, uh, backup financial information. Generally financial statements and forecasts, uh, if it's a project budget, if it's a project application, project uh, budgets. I'm going to talk in a little bit more detail about the mission statement. Because if you can nail that down, uh, the rest kind of flows from your mission. It will be the filter through which you will make a bunch of subsequent decisions. Start by answering the question, why am I in business? That sounds again like a simple question, but it's not so easy to get to a concise, compelling answer that includes a clear target market and that differentiates you from others in the same space. A well-known example of a really great mission statement is Disney's, which is to make people happy. Google's is to organize the world's information and make it universally accessible and useful. Mobile Experience uh, Innovation Center, a little closer to home, is uh, MEIC will facilitate a powerful mobile ecosystem by bringing together like-minded stakeholders to drive talent development, accelerate mobile adoption and commercialization, enable excellence in design and applied research with the objectives of promoting job creation and economic prosperity. The last little bit, I think, is linked to a lot of funding uh, um, guidelines, and that's quite smart because it links the mandate of the organization to the objectives of funders. It's remarkably difficult to, to be concise uh, and to boil it down, and yours doesn't have to be as short as Disney's, but see if you can get it down to like a paragraph. Once you've got your mission down, Pat, move on to the rest of the written plan and finally your numbers. Your financial information is a cru crucial part of your plan. Funders are like investors, think of them like that. They want to know you understand your business and have a demonstrated capacity to manage responsibly. If numbers aren't your thing, this is a place where you get some expert uh, help, spend the money and get help. Despe depending on the specific grant requirements, you may need audited financial statements and you generally need at least profit and loss statements or forecasts for the past year, current year and future year. Sometimes longer if it's a multi-year grant and sometimes you, uh, you, you, you need a cash flow statement. And if you don't understand what any of those are, once again, this may be an area where you get help. Once you've got a written plan and your numbers, there's a very important final step that many miss. And that's making sure that the story that you're telling in numbers matches the story you're telling in words. 
For example, if you're asking for money because you're going to grow your business, make sure that that's backed up through the written uh, words and the numbers. To recap, begin your preparation for grant writing by making sure that you have a sound business plan. In the next webinar, I'm going to talk about a very important part of your plan and any grant application, and that's demonstrating that you know your market. Hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you next time.